Y'all, we couldn't be more on budget if we tried. Crazy with the number at the register and we even got extra stuff. You wanna see what I picked up in this grocery haul? Let's get to this meal plan and keep on watching. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. <laughs> Meal plan for October 14th through the 20th. The budget's $75. We were spot on with that. I was so shocked. So breakfast this week, we're going to be making something new. This is pumpkin spice egg loaf. And I've got a little tweaking to do, but I'm hoping it comes out good. And I'm going to be honest with y'all right now. This is day five when I'm filming this from the carnivore challenge. And I am ready to get back to my keto life. Like I love my keto life. That's why I'm so passionate about it. And I miss my damn keto life. So pumpkin spice egg loaf, that's going to be coming in a prep video. And then of course the parfaits with the lollies granola and the nut butter. Oh, so good. And then of course we're going to be doing like keto pancakes or the 90 second Cinnabon for the weekend since we are back to our keto life and we can have have all the sweets and guys a 90 second Cinnabon is coming to you Friday don't miss out on that y'all are gonna love it epic so easy simple ingredients and of course just about 90 seconds so for lunch this week we're gonna be doing keto lunchables we haven't done those in forever but I'm gonna be making blue cheese deviled eggs as one of the sides with it maybe some like blackened chicken tenders I got some salami some cheeses living our best keto life after this challenge y'all Chicken BLT wraps, that's going to be in the prep video that you see in the next one. This is going to be so good. I'm not a fan of tomatoes, so I'm leaving that out. And then any leftovers for the week, I always eat up for lunch, so we have zero waste in this house. Dinner, we're going to be doing my coconut drumsticks. I have that in my recipes playlist. It is so good, guys, in the crock pot. If you're looking for a good slow cooker recipe with chicken, especially with the coal coming in, this is really, really good over collie rice, too. It's so good. You know what else would be good if you shredded up the chicken and like made a stew like a coconut chicken stew over that collie rice mm, y'all can tell i'm missing me some keto carbs leftovers on tuesday wednesday i'm going to be prepping biscuits and gravy ahead of time i've done that before so that way i don't have to do any cooking that night except for our eggs and we're going to have leftovers on thursday now i have out question mark for friday why are you doing that well, the hubby is going to be going on a fishing trip the entire weekend, so I don't know if I'm going to take the boys out myself, if we'll do something, or I might be tired from working, and I might just want to stay home and eat leftovers or something really quick. I don't know, so we'll see. That'll be up in the air. Then for the weekend, for myself, basically, I'm going to be making pork chops with loaded broccoli. Oh, so good. So like I said, 90 Second Cinnabon coming to you on Friday. So stay tuned for that. Make sure your notifications are clicked. And then for dessert, I think I'm going to try to make praline or praline, however you want to say it. I say praline, toasted pecans, pecans, pecans. That's another thing, right? pecans it's pecans y'all from the southern keto cookbook we're gonna try that out because i have some pecans and that just sounds oh so yummy to be snacking on at night or like during the day as a snack or i have a bunch of the pumpkin muffins aka pumpkin donuts that i have frozen they freeze up so well and i can thaw those out and i already have it done and i don't have to do nothing y'all so yeah i'm really excited about this week's meal plan because we're back to my beloved keto life Let's get to the groceries. All right, y'all, so here is my haul, and it was $75 to be exact, $75.08 with tax. So it was 72 bucks before tax. Doesn't look like a lot, but we got some special items and some things that I need that are higher priced this week, so let's get into the haul. So we got this Sola bread. I got this for Trey. This is not gluten-free, unfortunately, but the gluten-free bread at Rouse's that we like is super duper high, so I went ahead and got this one because it's $4.99. It's three net carbs, Dat Keto Lady Christy, has been raving about how great this is. So it's basically six carbs for two slices if you make a sandwich. Here are the ingredients. It's got a ton of ingredients, so it's really not like, you know, the best ingredients I would say, but I hear that it's really good. We're gonna try this out on the kids this week since I only did my grocery shopping at Rouse's instead of getting the Canyon Bakehouse's, the gluten-free bread that we like. Rouse's White American Cheese was on sale, thank goodness, because I've been paying high dollar for it. So a pound was $4.94, and I get this at the deli, y'all ask all the time. Land the lakes at like Walmart and different other stores is what you want. The white American cheese. Some of y'all been buying the wrong kind. Get it sliced because it just melts down so much quicker in the crock pot if you're making the keto queso. And y'all also ask what I serve with it all the time. If me and the hubs are eating this, sliced cucumbers or pork rinds if you're keto low carb. Trey obviously eats his gluten-free chips. Then I got some thick sliced chicken. Like even the guy at the checkout was like, that's 
some really thick sliced chicken. I am making chicken BLT roll-ups without the tomato. I'm not a fan of tomato, but chicken BLT roll-ups, and I needed some really substantial chicken to roll it up in. So this was $4.96 for my two lunches this week. Some Smithfield breakfast sausage. This kind has zero net carbs, guys. I'm sure it has some dextrose in it and somewhere if we're looking at the ingredients, but they all do pretty much. So I went ahead and got this one because I know the other brand that we always get has like a bunch of carbs in it. So I got that one and it was on sale for $2.99. Philadelphia cream cheese, one third less fat. That's for a recipe. Then I just went and got the Rouse's brand cream cheese. This does have a little bit more carbs in it for Trey's keto queso, but we don't mind him having a little bit more carbs than like, let's say I would. And he's the only one that really eats the keto queso throughout the week. So I got that for him. I got Waylon um, a watermelon. So like a quarter watermelon. It was only $1.99 for this huge thing of it at Rouse's. He told me the other day he had watermelon at school and he absolutely loved it. So I want to see if he actually will eat it. I'm trying to get any whole foods in the boy. The boy loves crap. Y'all know we've been converting the boys since summer and I'm still trying stuff and testing things out on both of them. And if he likes this, that's going to be a good option for him versus like the Annie's like cookies and crackers I've been buying at Costco. Then I got this 100% natural no nitrates, no antibiotics, uncured Italian dry salami. And I got this for Lunchables this week that I'm gonna make. So it's got good ingredients, zero carbs for five slices, y'all. The macros are on point on this. And I wanna say that was like five something. Guys, if you're seeing like dirt on my nails and stuff, Waylon legit, like I need to show you a picture of him. Do you see this boy's face? Do you see the dirt everywhere on him? Yeah, I just picked him up from school and he's got dirt all over him. And like, just by me touching him, I'm like filth. So after I film this grocery haul and put the groceries away, we go in to get a bath, right, wait, wait. Back to the grocery haul. I got some crumbled blue cheese and this was only like $2 and some change. This is the one that I get if I get it from Rouse's. That is for a recipe, those stuffed blue cheese deviled eggs. Oh my God, those are gonna be so good. Y'all know I love this YQ protein yogurt. And I do have parfaits on the menu this week. I love it because the protein is just freaking bomb. And then the carb count's lower than the too good. And also we're looking at our sugars are lower as well. Love this stuff. I mix it with Lolly's granola, a nut butter, and you are good to go. Their avocados were on sale for 77 cents. Now I'm filming this while I'm still doing this carnivore challenge, y'all. And I want to eat one of these so bad. I mean, they're not ready. But I was just drooling in the store over all the like keto friendly stuff stuff that I can have on carnivore. If you're doing the challenge, you know what I'm talking about. I went ahead and got these to go along with my Lunchables next week, so I tried to get them as green as possible. Also a cucumber for the Lunchables to wedge in between like the salami and some cheese. That's gonna be awesome since coming off carnivore. It's gonna be a nice, light, refreshing taste on the palate. We got some bananas for whey. I got some cilantro for a recipe and then some green leaf lettuce to go in those chicken BLTs. Another thing I was drooling over were the coffee were on sale. PJ's Coffee, y'all know the wedding cake one was on sale too. I have some still, it's what I've been sipping on. And it is $5.99 and so are the community coffees. They're so hella pricey. I went with a golden caramel. I really wanted to get like five other flavors uh, just because I've been wanting the things I can't have basically on Carnivore. And I said, girl, refrain. I didn't get the Rebel ice cream. Oh my gosh, or Lily's chocolate. So many things I put back on the shelf so the budget wouldn't be busted and I wouldn't be tempted the next three days on this challenge. So I just got the golden caramel caramel to go along with my caramel perfect keto collagen love community coffee and pjs so so much definitely makes a difference i then got some green chilies for the keto queso we are going to be making that pumpkin loaf so i got some libby's 100 percent pure pumpkin all the macros on all pumpkin i've ever seen are seven net carbs for half a cup so don't worry about what brand they're all the same basically even the organic kind I then got some coconut milk. Now this Thai kitchen was a lower carb. Um, I think then one of the other ones I was looking at, maybe not, I think I picked up the wrong one, was my life. That's okay, for a third of a cup, it's two net carbs, not bad at all, and I needed that for the coconut chicken. Couple of specialty items I got. So I got Trey some Halloween colored chips. Don't even ask me to like say that, but I got these because they are gluten-free. They're about the same macros as all the other chips we've been buying lately, besides the Siete kind. And I just got them because I have been doing his Halloween themed lunches with the low carb and gluten free and when he do when he does pack the keto queso I thought this would be really cute to go with his Halloween themed lunches and these were like $3.99 for this one pound bag so I figured I needed to get it they had some like this at Costco 
maybe two pounds, guys, and it was so, so pricey. Their large pumpkins were also on sale for $3.49. I haven't bought any yet, and I wanted to put these by the door. I love having these, and then we'll probably either carve these or go ahead and buy some other ones to carve, because Waylon's already asking about trick-or-treating Halloween and carving pumpkins. He absolutely loves Halloween, y'all. It's like one of his favorite holidays. Mine, too, so that's where he gets it from. A great, great deal. They've been like almost $5 at Walmart and a lot of my other stores here. Then went ahead and got some Powerades. These were just a dollar, y'all, and we have been missing some power, at least I have. So when I get back on my keto journey, I will definitely be sipping on these on the weekends. They were a buck each, and we like this cherry, white cherry flavor. You can't find it everywhere. It's kind of rare, and y'all know I love the Powerade purple one. And then, yes, y'all, we got our bang back. Now, girl, why are you only buying one? I have one in the fridge already that I haven't been able to drink in like two weeks. Y'all know Pina Colada is my absolute number one, so I went ahead and got this. $2 at Rouse's. I really need to buy on Sam's Club online because they do sell them at Sam's Club online, not in my club. And I'm still a Sam's member. And I do plan on doing a Sam's, what you can buy at Sam's keto friendly or health journey or just healthy in general haul for you guys or not necessarily a haul, but a shop with me. If y'all are interested in that, please leave a thumbs up on this video and leave a thumbs up in the comments down below. Let me know if you want me to film that. But this is everything that I got, guys, for $75 with tax. I didn't think that was terrible. That is within my budget. I've had some questions about the budget. We have been spending about $350 on average at Costco, and then my goal is to spend $75 per week at my local grocers or Walmart, and that way we're spending about $600, $650 a month. I don't think that's bad for a family of four that is on a health journey. I don't think that's bad. A lot of people go to the store and buy junk, junk, guys. For more than that a week and they are not getting healthy foods in them so I don't think that's bad especially when we're on this keto journey gluten-free low sugar low carb health journey life here in my household so we are a-okay with that and that's within our budget so y'all give this video a huge thumbs up if you love these grocery hauls I mentioned my community tab if you saw that give it a huge thumbs up guys it helps the video if you do like these so many of y'all told me keep the videos absolutely the same. So that's exactly what I did. I'm listening to you guys. I'm hearing what you guys want. And y'all said keep it the same. So I am, but I need y'all to give the videos a thumbs up if you're enjoying them to help them. So the analytics shows that you like them because I'm looking at the analytic analytics. I'm getting kind of confused to be honest with some things. And if you're not subscribed and you want to stick around to see what we buy on our keto, low carb, gluten-free journey, please hit that subscribe button down below. We'd love to have you a part of the YouTube fam. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have an amazing Saturday and an awesome weekend. Again, and I will see you guys tomorrow for a prep with me carnivore style. See you then. Love you guys. Bye.